So now that we have the plants here by the sink, I'm going to go ahead and just water each of them and I will put a paper towel on each saucer to collect the dripping of the water through the pot itself. So I'll start with, I started with this one over here, but I'll continue with this guy here, a much bigger pot, and we'll add some water. I try to, try to put the water at the base of the foliage so not to get too many of the leaves wet. I find that my plants in particular like that better. I, th I think there are some plants that like their leaves wet. I know the aloe plant likes to be watered from the center without too much water outside of the center of the plant. So it just depends on the plant, I think. And of course, Boo now wants to take part and help. So we have some drainage through the drip hole in the center of this pot, this clay pot. So that tells me that it's getting water through the roots. So now we have a cat in the sink. <laughs> Came to say hi. Okay, so let me add water to this one. Yeah, we'll look for the drainage there. This one looks pretty good too. I don't see too many things that need trimmed or pruned. Just some leaves that have fallen that no longer need to be in the plant. There's a little bit of extra um, old growth in here, I'm just picking out just so the pot itself is clean of any old vines of the plant. So you have all new growth in there. This plant in particular will drop its leaves after it, um, they kind of dry out and dry off. Oh. Another stink bug. <laughs> so with the aloe plant, I water down through the center of the plant itself, and then it cascades the water into the dirt around the base of the plant. And I just kind of let it sit for a moment. And the water is settling into the pot. And the plant looks really good. I don't see any drainage. That's okay. I'm going to do one more time. Center. And let the water drain. Now I will rinse my fingers, get a paper towel, and put it on this little plate. Let's set it up there as well. Okay, I do have a little bit of drainage there, so that's good. We'll put it up there to drain. Okay, so I have one more plant. Get my paper towel. My Christmas cactus, as it were. Um, occasionally, I do get some dry pieces on here. So I'm just kind of running my hands across to see if there are any pieces that come off like this. Same with this one here. That one's pretty good. I'll turn this around. Yeah, so some of these are ready to pop off as they have new growth on here. Put those in the sink. I don't pull very, I don't pull very hard. I just Fine little areas that might need a little bit of extra attention. But for the most part, it looks really good. I'm going to adjust some of the soil at the top here. And if there's anything else in here. 
Okay, looks good. So now we will add some water. This did just finish blooming. It had gorgeous red blooms on it all of last month. More of a January bloom. Sometimes it blooms in November as well. November, December, January are typically the months that I see the blooms on it. And I still have my tag in it for the actual Christmas cactus tag item there. Okay, so he, we do have some drainage in there, so I'm going to get down my paper towel. And since I do have a lot of little arms on this one, I'm going to probably set it up here for now and I'll have to adjust it. But I like the fact that he can cascade without being in too many areas. The less um, touching that your plants do to surfaces, the better for them, I have found. So whatever works for you and your plants. So I hope today found some joy for you and thank you so much for tuning in. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for future videos as well. Until next time, thank you so much. Take care. Bye now.